Western States is the ultimate stage for U.S. trail running. It's got so much history, so much prestige. The competitive field there is always really stacked and it's just a great atmosphere, a great group of people. It really means a lot to have that be hopefully my first 100 mile finish of my career on the biggest stage uh, possible in the U.S. in my opinion. That excites me but it also makes me kind of scared shitless. I, I don't know what to expect, I don't know what's going to happen to my body after 62 miles, so it's going to be a big adventure, that's for sure. I'm really excited to see how this all shakes out. Excited and nervous, but I'll see you in Squaw. Feeling good, the weather's gonna be hot as normal. Looks like it's gonna be a beautiful, interesting race. I'm I'm really excited, I'm also really nervous to tell you the truth. Uh, about eight minutes. Uh, he's in. He's ten minutes ahead. Course record pace. Water on my head. Yeah. Where's his hand held? No, I don't. Got it. That boy, baby. Oh, that wasn't yeah. a good place to put that. Sorry. So I left Robinson Flat in second place, and I was about five minutes behind the leader, Jim Walmsley. The next 20 miles is where I think I made some mistakes with my hydration, and the heat of the day really started to make things hard. Michigan Bluff, um, Sage just came through. Normally I have a pretty good time at reading Sage, this time I had a hard time. He looked motivated but not as cheery as he sometimes is at aid stations. Hopefully he's running his own race and not somebody else's. By the time I reached Forest Hill at mile 62, uh, my stomach was starting to turn on me. I was getting pretty nauseous and trying to get calories in was becoming a struggle. Oh, Dad, can I? This sucks. Dad. Sage, you're still six minutes under the course record right now. Yeah, you carried some. Alright, thanks. Thanks, guys. Go, go, go. go. Yeah, Sage! After a few minutes to regroup, my pacer Joel and I left Forest Hill. This is where things really started to go downhill for me.
By mile 64 is when I started puking and I couldn't keep down any calories. He needs lots of water. It was an endless cycle and I went from running to basically walking and my ability to be competitive in race uh, was really waning as runners started to pass me. I still wanted to finish as hard as I could though. When I visualized this race, I was gonna storm this climb. <laughs> Got this, Sage. You're still doing well. Atta boy. Come on, keep moving. Think you can jog to the river? Nice water. Okay. And the other side is obviously. All right. All right. Good job. Thanks. Best of luck to you. Good job. Uh, what was your name finish. again? Carl. Carl. Nice to meet you. After crossing the American River, I hoped things would turn around, but I was just so trashed. It took everything I had just to keep moving forward, and I knew no matter what, I wasn't going to quit though. Keep moving, man. <laughs> so we'll make it to Highway 49 before twilight. Make some face of me, Joel. For putting up with my puking. Come on, Sage. Come on, Sage, you're in the final 10 miles. You gotta give it, give it everything you have. miles is pretty far and it, it takes a lot of guts and perseverance for anyone to finish this race. I'm glad I toughed it out. I'm glad I 
was able to cover, finally cover 100 miles for the very first time. I didn't really want to finish in the dark, but I feel like I got the full experience because I actually did have to wear a headlamp. So it was a good night running experience. Not pleased with the time or the place, but finishing was a real gift and a real reward. 1715, a little bit out of order from Boulder, Sage, Canada. I definitely want to come back and do this race. Unfortunately, since I finished in 11th place, I don't have an automatic ticket back uh, for next year. I guarantee you I want to come back and try to run a faster time and be more competitive in this race and use the experience that I got from yesterday uh, for my future adventures, and especially for the unique challenges at Western States. It's a big relief. I just want to sit down. Okay.